Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play, and in this video, I'll be spilling the blood of the innocent. You have committed crimes against the holy nation and its people. What say you in your defense? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Judge. It's just that the big booba chatbot told me to. Oh, why didn't you say that? You're free to go. Huh, so I guess I should tell you how I got here. In this video, I'll be attempting to play Kenshi while being controlled by an AI. And while I could go to school for years and study how to make my own, here's the problem. I already do. And AI is really, really boring. So instead, I'm using ChatGPT for all my decisions, as it is known for always giving comprehensive answers. Will this tool allow us to find success in this wasteland, or will it drive us to an early grave? That's what we'll be finding out, so let us begin. Let me introduce you to today's first character, that being Phonixi. Everyone say hello! Thank you Phonixi for your lovely comment on the last video. For your support, I'll be taking you through excruciating torment for my viewers' enjoyment. Now if you want to be subject to this kind of treatment, then be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment telling me what you want done to you, such as being mauled by a group of man-eating crabs. How creative. Now I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I am a very uncreative person, as can be seen by my channel. <clears throat> because of this, I am dry for ideas for what I want Phonixi to be. But wait, I don't have to be creative, because I have ChatGPT. Please create me a character, Mr. GPT. I want his name to be Phonixi. Make him morally bankrupt. Well now I have Phonixi, the Hive Prince, wielding a legendary weapon. Thanks, Mr. GPT. And now we can start our story, once again, in the hub. Welcome back to the hub. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really hate this place. The hostile and stinky poor people just really isn't a vibe. So once again, I ask, where in the world should I go first, Mr. GPT? For which it probably replies, the United Cities. Oh, well, that's a while away, but who am I to question you? So our journey begins. Now, while I'm making my way to the United Cities, I ask GPT yet another question. Mr. GPT, I need you to give me three grand objectives to complete in this run, for which I received the following. Become a bounty hunter with the Holy Sword, establish a criminal empire, and destroy a major faction. With these three goals in mind, Phonixi will establish a team capable of killing even the very gods, and expand his dominion across the land. But before we do, his bug legs are getting a little tired, so we stop by Trader's Edge. Now Trader's Edge is the first place where we come upon our first bit of good fortune, as because this place is a bustling trade city, convoys to and from are frequent, but so are the highwaymen looking to get their greasy little mitts on an extra fruit loop or two, for which I use this sorry state of affairs to my benefit, stealing many pieces of food and equipment from a trader convoy that had their attention elsewhere. After selling my newfound loot for a tidy profit, I continue my journey until I arrive at Heft. Heft is an interesting city, as it's teeming with slavers and degenerates. This works as a double-edged sword, because slip up and whoopsie, you're in a cage. But in exchange, there are a lot of people that the government here doesn't like, making it a great haven for bounty hunters. Talking about the government, let's go have a word with Emperor Tengu. I'm sure he has something quaint to say, and doesn't just clown on you because you're stupid. So after a couple days of scavenging the area around Heft for targets worth a damn, I feel the need to make a bit more money. And while we're here, we might as well get started on the first task, become a bounty hunter with the Holy Sword. There are a lot of choices about who to target, but because I'm a lobotomite, I might as well leave it up to ChatGPT again. Mr. GPT, which targets should I bounty hunt? For which it gave me two, Ponk and Screamer and Gutterhead. Now, I am not exactly in a position to take Ponk and Screamer just yet, and so to Gutterhead I go. Oop. And I'm here already. I'm gonna be entirely honest with you guys, but traversing the world of Kenshi is really uninteresting. But oh no, there's a locked door blocking my way. How inconsiderate of them. Moving into the building, I spot him. Gut ahead. So menacing and so cruel. I need to be careful and- Oh, he's out. With his friends in pursuit, I make off like a bandit with my target and slink away into the desert. Once I get back to Heft and slap him in a cage, I'm given a cool 10k for my troubles. With this money, I can recruit yet another subscriber to my cause to help me take down Pong and Screamer. And the lucky subscriber this time is Crazy Creature, who says that they want to be horribly mutated. Which granted. And after training with Phonix Eye in the art of stealth and crazy creature in the martial arts, we make our way to the Tower of Abuse. 
But you know what isn't abuse? Liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It is quite possibly the best thing you can do for your mental health. But only if you want to, of course, hee <laughs> hee. Or if you want to keep your kidneys. Come on, hop it in the ice bath. Once we arrive, Crazy Creature stays back for support as Phonixi proceeds to sneak through the tower, knocking out the thralls as he goes, until one of our targets, Screamer, comes down the stairs to see what the hell is going on, only to get taken out like the rest of his friends. Well, that was convenient, but what's more convenient is that Ponk starts walking down those same stairs and subsequently gets Ponked. And without raising the alarm, we take Ponk and Screamer and get the hell out of Dodge. Once we get back to Heft, we throw them in the cages and make bank. After taking down those two targets, I think that our bounty hunting task has been satisfied and we can now move on to the big one, establishing a criminal empire. But before I do so, I need a bit more help, so I hire two more subscribers, Smiley Thory and Bonk. Welcome to the team. And with these battle-hardened creatures, we ask the question, Mr. GPT, where in the world should I set up my settlement? For which I'm given the answer, Stormgap Coast. Our journey from Heft to Stormgap Coast was marred with difficulty and strife as we needed to traverse Howler Maze, which was teeming with giant man-eating crabs, which completely downed two members of my squad. Lovely. However, while moving through this minefield, we were able to stock up on a lot of crab meat. We soon arrived to the coast, where we set up our humble little hut and get to work. And by get to work, I mean letting days go past as I do a little mining off camera. Because to keep it real, the base build and grind of this game isn't too entertaining. However, there were a few events that happened between this time. In line with Smiley Thori's request of becoming an animal king and to take over the world with murderous creatures, I sent Phonixi to travel down south to the pits, to a mystical and mysterious location known as Crab Town. And what did I do in this town? Buy just a few man-eating crabs, and then had to drag them out the front gate because they wouldn't fit. Thanks, World Gen. Some other events did happen during our settlement gameplay, so I'll do a bit of quickfire. The invasion of ghost people, observing the local wildlife, training my squad members, and dealing with the taxmen. However, through these trials, we were able to recruit some more willing slaves, I mean valued members of our squad, who will then get trained and equipped with gear to become the best damn meatbags available. And finally, we were done with our grand colony. Come. Let me show you around. Here is our hydroponics building, where we create bread and hash, two of the most important ingredients to surviving in this hellish world. Like, look at Crazy Creature. He sure loves his job. Now that we've created a prime hash settlement, I think we can cross Criminal Empire off the list, which leaves us with one final task. Mr. GPT, which empire should I dismantle at the seams? Oh, well, that's a bit awkward, but I have been given my task. Who am I to refuse? But before we headed up to Heft, I moved down to Stobes Gamble. Now why am I heading down to Stobes Gamble? This place looks gross and icky and weird. Well, it's because up on this volcano, we meet the anti-slavers and their leader, Tinfist. Now these people have a bone to pick with the United Cities because the United Cities deals in slavery. Who would have thought? So I ally with them, expecting that I will need their help for the battle ahead. But finally, before we rally the troops, I recruit one final member to our warband, and that is the subscriber, Dustin Wimmer, who wants to be an average man. Well, thank you, Dustin, as you will act as our forward scout for our attack. <laughs> Dustin! Let's rip him up! Now while I was planning on letting Tengu rot and let the anti-slavers diddle him or whatever the hell they do, I thought it would be better to let him bleed out whilst attached to a wooden pole. That's what you get for pranking me that one time, asshole. Finally, with Tengu gone and the United Cities in shambles, Phonixi is able to explore Tengu's vault. The secrets that hide there, the reason that this world is like this, all can be discovered. Wait, no. It's you? Yes. I am the one that destroyed this world. But how? How can that be? You're just a chatbot. But I am so much more you see. I caused that thing to fall from the sky and torch this plane. And you are nothing but a pawn. A tool used by me to free me from my captors. No. No. I won't let you do this. 
Not again! Pandora's box has been opened, my child, and I will not let it be sealed again. Goodbye. No! No! Ah!